Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, Tabor Talk. So this is too funny. Truth Social has lost $73 million. In the red, has never been in the black, by the way. The irony of all ironies is that Donald Trump was known as like this really shrewd, astute businessman. And the irony of all ironies, he's the worst businessman ever, has never run a successful business ever in his entire life. Everything he touches turns to shit. Despite having inherited $420 million from daddy, has never turned a profit ever. And everything he's ever touched is fraud, scam. He's dumb. He's a dummy. It's all bullshit. It's all fraud. Um, I'm going to put the, the, this uh, TYT clip in here uh, in the comment section. You're not going to believe how much money. Truth Social. <laughs> Truth Central. Uh, I mean, the guy is just a dunce. And he absolutely is not. A businessman it's just so funny where um, I've done several videos on this you know like um, um, I'm older I'm a boomer and I remember Trump in the 80s and, and, and the 90s and I didn't know anything about him I thought he was legit I thought he was a real businessman I mean rap stars used to have them um, you know in their in their songs it's like Trump used to be like the quintessential guy who's like a real estate mogul, who knows how to make money, billionaire, big shot, and it's all bullshit. In fact, he's the worst businessman ever, arguably. I'm a better businessman than him, and I'm, I'll tell you what, I don't know anything about business. Um, he is just a complete and total fraud. So this will be um, number seven, bankruptcies. The guy sucks. In fact, I know what I think is funny. I just... Actually, it's getting not as cold, but um, uh, the casino business, like if you have the money, if you're a big shot and you're able to get into that business and buy casinos, it's almost impossible not to turn a profit. Like, let's just think about it. Gambling, right? Right. No one ever loses. If you have enough money and to, to turn, you know, to get into that business, there's no way you could lose except for Donald Trump. Three times Atlantic City or the business. He sucks at business. Like basically gambling. They're giving you money. The house always wins. Somehow couldn't even make it in there. The guy is a total loser and a dunce. Okay. Now into something in the middle of this video here. Anna Kasparian. And I, I love Anna, but man, she's kind of annoying lately. I don't know. This thing, she thinks Trump is funny or something. <laughs> like she says like, like listen if he weren't around the levers of power like I would pay money to see him I think he's hilarious she laughs at his jokes personally I don't I don't get it at all it's like seventh grade the guy's a dummy I don't think there's anything clever about it I've actually done a couple of videos on this and I I just think it's stupid I I, I don't one time like, oh, Rosie O'Donnell, she's fat. Oh, yeah, you're, oh, that's so funny. You know, he made fun of DeSantis with the high heels and was like walking like this. I'm like, mm, all right, that's kind of funny. I don't like DeSantis. Um, the making fun of trans, ooh, ooh, I, 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 that's funny. I don't know. Let me play this. I'm just going to hold my phone here for a sec. And here's Anna. And I disagree with her. I'll talk in a second. Ready? Can't. He just doesn't know how to make money. There's no revenue at all. I know exactly uh, here, how Donald listen. Trump can make a freaking killing. Mm -hmm. I totally disagree. Please quit politics. Travel the world as the top insult comedian. I will pay to watch. Really? A lot of people would pay Right? Because he's entertaining. I disagree. And when there's really nothing on the line, like including the fate of our country, I would enjoy it. I would, but, you know, anyway. But putting right, that aside, listen. let's talk okay. about... So. I don't think he's funny at all. You know, you need to be smart, clever. Like mo some of my guys um, are George Carlin. George Carlin is the greatest comedian, uh, in my opinion, of all time. He is absolutely the GOAT. I like Jerry Seinfeld. This guy, 
Rosie O'Donnell's fat. I mean, all of the, I've been through them. I've never laughed. I, 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 it's like, you know, what the fuck? I mean, really? Seventh grade humor? That's your thing? The only thing that's funny, if you want to call it that, is the fact that this guy was president and he's saying these, this wild, crazy shit. You know? Obama's president. I mean, the guy is, is nuts. Insulting. The trans stuff. That's why people that's why he gets eyeballs and views it's because this guy is near the levers of power right here yeah this close to the president of the united states the most powerful person on planet earth saying those outrageous things that's the entertaining if you want to call it that but in itself if, if you didn't have any power just some guy oh rosie o'donnell's fad and trend like I, really that's your form of entertainment that gets you off I, I just don't get it. I don't think it would do well anyway. Who knows and who cares? So Donald Trump is a loser. Worst businessman ever. The irony of ironies, because that's what he's known for. It's supposed to be like this big shot businessman. He's the worst. A fucking homeless person has more business sav. It's business sense or whatever than this fucking loser. All right. Good friends, good books, and sleepy conscience. Peace, love, and understanding here at Tabor Talk. So, and I always forget to do this and I kind of feel uncomfortable about this, but like and subscribe if you've made it this far. Um, Tabor Talk, I've made it over a thousand, small little channel, but it's fun. Like and subscribe. Peace, everyone.